Hello lovelies and welcome to the end of September edition of Hold My Coffee 2021. Today we are going to be turning in the coffee for Rocky Mountain Root Beer because we've got some cooking to do. So I'm, I'm making root beer burgers tonight because it's one of my family's favorite. So besides the bottle of root beer, we also have a very lovely chopped red onion. This is half of a red onion. One medium-sized bell pepper, chopped up pretty finely. And half of a yellow onion. Our spices are very simple. Oregano, rosemary, and if you have the time, Plus, a little bit of salt and pepper out of my happy bear and honey thing because, as many of you know, I'm just a little bit obsessed with my bees. And while we're cooking, I'm going to talk about my books. Okay, so now that we have the oregano, thyme, rosemary, and salt and pepper added, what we're going to do is we're going to divide the caramelized onions and bell peppers um, so that we can put half in, in, um, just with root beer. So I've got a nice caramelized on the onions and stuff and it you want to divide out just slightly more than half and now we're going to deglaze the plant can pan with some of our Colorado Rocky Mountain root beer. And then we're just going to let that reduce down some. So it's got a really, really pretty color on it. We're just going to let it reduce down. And once it's reduced, we're going to add it to our two and a half pounds of ground beef. Okay, I think that's pretty much dry enough. We've got all the moisture out of it. So now into the beef it goes. And then we're going to put the rest of our onions back into our pan on low temperature. And before we add the root beer to this batch, we're just gonna give it a little drizzle of honey, Hanson Honey Bee Honey, of course, from my friends at the Hanson Honey Bee Co-op. I got my bees. And this is particularly alfalfa honey that is raised and the bees are down along Highway 50 in the alfalfa fields along the Colorado River. So we're going to put a little bit, just maybe two teaspoons, not quite in there. I'm going to let that get a good melt on it. We're going to add the root beer to this, and I'm using just about a third of a bottle at a time, 
and we're going to let that reduce while we mix this. So while this is reducing, um, I've got my meat mixed up. I'm going to make my patties um, and tell you about my book news. Um, I applied um, last summer for the Editingle Halloween Anthology, the Hallow 3 Anthology. They have just done the cover reveal and the name of the third Halloween anthology from Editingle Indie House is going to be Curse of the Hallow Moon. And my submission in it is going to be Daisy the Werecow number two. So if you read my submission in the Editingle Indie House um, under the Hallow Grave, um, you would have read the story about Daisy and kind of, it was, it's kind of um, like an M. Shyamalan Nights village kind of a thing and honestly I think the last line of that story is literally the it's literally one of the my most favorite lines that I've ever written oh. so that's what it looks like as you're making the patties um, but um, the the Backstory is, is Daisy grew up in this very isolated clan, and they, the, the clan had these mantras they were, it was, that everyone said all of the time, and it was basically, um, do not pass the fences, do not forage in the far fields or near the fences alone, do not leave the long house before dawn or after dusk, do not go out in the moonlight, and do not let the monsters bite you. And if you read the first one, you know that, of course, Daisy broke every one of those rules after her sister died. And she was bitten, and now she's one of them. So she was driven out by the clan. And so when you pick up, you're following, you're going to be following her world, her st travel through the world, outside of the White Mountains. So she is, you're going to find her, and she's going to be working as... A maid, a, basically a milkmaid, at a sea, seaside inn, and um, that's how she supports herself. Because unfortunately, you know, she's she's just on her own in the world after being cast out of the clan. However, the monster who changed her is still watching her, and his mother is not happy that he is enamored with a common cow and so she has hired a witch to find um she's hired the witches to find daisy and meanwhile prince torrent's kind of gone crackers and every time they try to introduce him to a new princess in the hopes that he'll marry a royal cow he eats them. So, yeah, there's that. Um, but the Curse of the Hallow Moon is going to be releasing in October, and I hope you all enjoy it. And I'm going to pause this while I finish reducing what I have in the pan. Okay, so I have got this reduced. The honey, brown sugar, onions, bell peppers, and as you can see, the burgers are actually very pretty to look at. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the burgers and I'm actually going to press them down into the caramelizing onions. And then we've got the fire set down. It's turned down pretty low. We're going to put just a little more root beer in the center. And then we're going to put a lid on. And this is going to, the root beer, it's going to make more of a braised burger 
than an actual like fried burger. Um, you can go back and caramelize it later if you want, put it on a hot grill and get some of that nice crisp that's on it. Um, I'm starting these and we've got the root beer is now all around the burgers. It's basically steaming them and we will come back when they're ready to flip over. Okay, so the, the burgers are done. Uh, they look beautiful. Uh, I'm going to pull the first batch out, put them on a plate. Um, cook the last three, I made eight. And I've got some onion in some french fry oil that I'm heating up so that I can make home fries. Um, because I like cooking my potatoes in flavored oil. So, we'll be right back. Okay, so we like potato bread with our root beer burgers. So I'm gonna pull out a nice big potato bun. And of course, no soy, so gotta have the avocado mayo. And for the cheese, I just have mild cheddar. Just a, nut, uh, just a smear, not much, just a smear on the bottom. A slice of cheese. And, and these are what the burgers look like. They look pretty good, I think. So... One on. And this is what they look like. I got this one just very slightly rare because that's how he likes it. And then some home fries on the side. And that's the really simple way to make root beer burgers. Um, again, uh, support your local breweries and Rocky Mountain Root Beer from Denver, Colorado. Uh, very good flavor. Um, do not use cheap root beer to make this because if you do, the only thing you'll be able to taste is corn syrup. And that is something that I learned the hard way, is that like you can't just use like your Barks or A&W root beer. You actually have to have a really, really good quality root beer. So you have to buy, as my youngest says, the bougie beer. Um, but that's just my simple recipe for um, the end of September, as everybody's getting ready to go into Preptober for NaNoWriteMo in November. Um, hope you like it, hope you try it, and, uh, 
keep an eye out for Curse of the Hallow Moon, uh, the latest from Editing Will Indie House for their Hallow Anthology, Hallow Halloween Anthology. Be blessed and happy eating. Bye. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. Oh, I'm crying. Can be something you like to read. Wow, just wow. And the editing and the advertising. And finally got the name of the nerve. Literally the only person that's not eating at her McDonald's tonight. And you're having with your burgers. I'm too happy. <laughs>